just as a lotus feet for my most worshipable picture of the day. Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Astotara Sat Shri Shriman Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada and the same unlimited obeisances and the dust of the lotus feet for my most worshipable Shikshi Guru Dev Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Astotara Sat Shri Shriman Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj To all of our Guru Varga All the Sanyasi Guns And all the assembled devotees, Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis And honored guests Shri Padmanap Maharaj Has ordered me to speak about The glories of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Shri as we know, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself absorbed in the moods of Srimati Radhika. Because although he is the Supreme Lord himself, the complete absolute whole, which includes all existence, Three desires were unfilled. What is the nature of Radharani's love? What is it that she takes in me that no one else can relish to that extent? And what is the happiness which is ten million times more than mine? So Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and in his supreme abode of Navadri, which includes all of the gums. Just as in her most complete form, Srimati Ranika is Vrishabhana Nandini. And that is Srimati Ranika absorbed in her Asthakaliya Lila pastime with Krishna in Vrindavan, which includes all of the gums. Then she expands her aspect Biyogini Radhika, who is feeling separation from Krishna in Udavkiri, um, in Nandagam, where she is absorbed in feeling the presence of Krishna through separation when Krishna is in Vatura and Dwarka. And then, as Sanyogini Radhika, she, her expansion, meets Krishna in Kurukshetra. And although it's meeting, she's feeling intense separation and praying that he will return to Vrindavan, where is the only place that he can be happy. Similarly, as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is Krishna absorbed in the moods of Radhika, in his supreme dham, Navadvi dham, which includes all other dhams, he is in the mood of Vrishabhana Nandini. When he is in Puri, he is experiencing the moods of Radhika and Udav Kiri, feeling separation from Krishna. And in the Gambira, he is absorbed in such moods. So there, He's tasting Biyo meaning Radhika. And when he meets Sri Ramananda Rai at Godavari, he is in the manifestation of Sanyogini Radhika, or Radhika meaning Krishna at Kurukshetra. So Navadri Dham includes Godavari and it includes Puri. As you'll see on our daily Parikrama, that all other dams, like Kuntapur, everywhere is included in Navadvi. So although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is eternally is experiencing the Madanakya Mahabhav and all other moods of Srimati Radhika, he performs the pastime of receiving that from Raya Ramananda. 
and we read the verse in Raivanam Sambhad, which to our great fortune is in the Hindi language and English language at the bookstore. Sanchayadarma vidha bhakti mega sva bhakti siddham sachaya mrithani Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is just like the ocean, the ocean of all conclusive truths. And just as in the heat, the water from the ocean is evaporated and all the salt is removed and it's only pure water vapor, then that vapor becomes the cloud. And the cloud then pours pure water back onto the ocean. When it's a certain constellation called Swati Nakshatra, the water that comes from that cloud enters the oysters in the ocean and at that time the oysters produce pearls. So the ocean becomes filled with valuable jewels at that time. Similarly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the embodiment of all inclusive truth. And very in a hidden way, he infused the nectar of all ambrosia of Bhakti Siddhanta or realized knowledge of Radha Tattva and all of her moods which Krishna came to this world to taste. So he infused all of those moods in a very hidden way, imperceptibly into the heart of Sri Ramananda Rai who became that ambrosial cloud and then poured the nectar of such realizations in the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That cloud himself, Sri Ramananda Rai, prayed to Mahaprabhu that just like Lord Narayan imbued the heart of Sri Brahmaji with Yan and Vigyan and the most confidential knowledge. Similarly, you're infusing my heart and I am just like an instrument playing your tune. Or, just like the super soul infuses the heart of the pure devotee and makes them taste the various rasas of friendship, parental love, servitorship, and ultimately conjugal love. And then that devotee in turn, by his pure ecstatic love, astounds the Lord. So similarly, you are infusing me with your own knowledge. So by that Realize knowledge that Sri Ramananda Rai in return rains showered upon the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He became in full realization of the purpose of his descent. It stated that Mahaprabhu's ears were just like the ocean, and then the water of the moods of Srimati Radhika entered the ears of Mahaprabhu and through that entered his heart and he came the ocean of all that Bhakti Siddhanta. What kind of ocean? An ocean without any crocodiles and without any sharks. What are the sharks and crocodiles? It's karma or fruit of activity, upasana or ritualistic worship, and
and again for an impersonal realization. And there were no ferocious waves, so the Guru Dev explained. He actually gave these lectures on this subject in Puri. And later on, those lectures in Hindi became the Hindi book, which later on became Rai Ramananda Sambhad in English. So Srila Gurudev explained that he is an ocean, not of ferocious waves, but of very gentle, billowing waves of the four rasas. Because although Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself, God himself, he is the Vishaya, or the taster of the ecstatic love of his devotees. But he had no realization of what the devotees are tasting in their ecstatic love, and especially the ecstatic love of Srimati Radhika and her expansions, her stockings. So, Mahaprabhu became the ocean of gentle, billowing waves of the four ecstatic relationships and also, particularly, the very gentle waves of Sambo and Vipralanda, all by the mercy of Ramananda Rai, who, just as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Krishna Lila is Krishna imbued with the moods of Srimati Radhika. So Sri Ramananda Rai is the Shakadevi who is born on the same day as Srimati Radhika and has practically the same qualities as Radhika. And so she also knows the heart of Krishna better than Krishna himself. So by the mercy of Vishaka Devi, Krishna came, became imbued with the moods which he couldn't achieve in any way as Krishna. He tried very hard to taste those moods in various ways. As you see in Prem Samput, for example, when Krishna disguised himself as a demigoddess and pretended to be very lamented that how could you love Krishna? I have seen, I sat on the tree at Bhansibad, I came all the way from the heavenly planets, and I saw how Krishna left all the gopis for you, but then he left you also, and you wept piteously. How could you love such a rascal as Krishna? So Radhika explained to him that you have no idea about my relationship with Krishna. It's not that I even understand his moves and he understands mine, but there's no difference between us. So in this way and in the other way, Krishna tried to taste the moods of Radharani, but fully successful, he couldn't. So now as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's become the ocean of the waves of Vipralamba and Sambho. He could taste from Radharani's point of view, as in Goloka Vrindavan, he begged Radharani, that please lend me your moods. So she said, yes, certainly. I'll lend you my moods. But I myself will have to come and help you. I'll come as my Saki Lalita and help you as Sri Sarup Damodar. I'll help you in my, through my friend Vishaka as Rai Ramananda. And I will personally come as Gadara Pandit, just like Jaitanya Mahaprabhu would go to Tota Gopinath Temple in Puri. And here is Srimad Bhagavatam from Gadara Pandit, who is Radharani herself, who was speaking the Bhagavatam from the point of view of Srimati Radhika. So in this way, although Jaitanya Mahaprabhu is called Vora Hari, which means one who steals the complexion and moods of Srimati Radhika. Srila Gurudev said there's no way and we chant Sachinanda Gora Hari Ki Jai Hari Hari Bo. But although we chant that in great jubilation, Srila Gurudev said there's no way 
that Krishna could have stolen the moods of Srimati Radhika because she's too alert. She is Sarva Lakshmi Mai. That means that although Krishna is Bhagavan, he is the embodiment of all the six opulences, including full knowledge. Srimati Radhika is his six opulences. Sarva Lakshmi Mai. So she's also his opulence of knowledge. So she's too alert that he couldn't have stolen her mood. So by her mercy she lent it to him, but she's helping him through Ramana Narai. So now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is tasting Srimati Radhika's mood. And there's one expression here, Svabhakti Siddhanta Chayakratani. Svabhakti Sriya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also became the ocean of the mellows of the services of the maid servants of Srimati Radhika, which is the pinnacle of devotion for all jivas. So he tasted that in many pastimes, picking flowers for Radha and Krishna. And he gave the jivas the only thing that they can taste, because they can't taste his sweet swabhakti, his own bhakti, the embodiment of his own bhakti, Srimati Radhika. So he gave us fortunate jivas who have this swarup, and after, as Parijatik Maharaj just mentioned, after many, many births, millions of births of Sukritis and sunscars and devotional service, we're able to have such bona fide guru, Shiksha and Diksha Guru as we have. And here we get to attend, now that we've done Rikrama, in the Lord's own abode, which is not different from Vrindavan, which includes not only all other spiritual abodes, but all other incarnations, all other pastimes, all material universes are present in Vrindavan and in this Navadri. So we pray to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to Sri Ramananda Rai, to Sri Visakha Devi, that we may fulfill the function or the purpose of how, our having come to Sri Navadri Dham to serve all the beautiful Vaishnavas, however apparently big or small they may be, because we don't know who's who. And you're all very glorious Vaishnavas. So I pray for your mercy that I can attain some Guru Nista in my Shiksha and Diksha Guru and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes and their reality uh, and become a pure devotee of Navadri Dham, Sri Guru and Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Bhor Premanande, Hari Hari Bhor. Hare Krishna. Video tape. So, in the uh, book stall, in the front of the temple, now they're selling hard drives of 5,000 of Gurudev's audio and video lectures. So you're welcome to get them. They're not expensive, but there's only 10. So it's first come, first serve. Thank you. That's 3,500 rupees. And also, this very, very beautiful manifestation of Srila Gurudev's heart, his childhood, how, his, how and why his mother gave him his nickname, how he grew up in school, and all the very beautiful Siddhanta. As we know, Sri Padmanabha Maharaj uh, is like the manifestation of all Shastras. So as he's relating the pastimes of Srila Gurudev, as he's heard from him hundreds and hundreds of times, how Srila Gurudev joined the Mat, how mystically he left his home in the middle of the night and went to the railway station.